Hi friends, welcome to JSM Mass Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the second problem of XS 11.2, that is of trigonometry. Let us observe the question. The size of right angle triangle R, PQR, R, PQ is 7 cm, PR is 25 cm, and angle Q is 90 degrees respectively. Then find the tan P minus tan R. See, in a right angle triangle, PQR, let us take a right angle triangle, excuse me. Let us assume that it is a right angle triangle, PQR, right angle with Q, then we have given measurement of PQ as a 7 centimeters and PR, PR measurement is what? 25 centimeters they have been and they are asking us to find out the value of tan p minus tan r so to find out the tan p see what is the definition of tan what is the definition of tan p tan p is defined as in opposite side to opposite side to angle p by adjacent side to adjacent side to angle P. Now in triangle A P Q R what is the side opposite to the norm P angle P that is Q R. Do we know measurements of P do we know measurement of Q R? No. We don't know the measurement of Q R. So firstly we need to find out the measurement of Q R to find out tan P value. So how we are going to find the measurement of QR means if you observe this it is a right angle triangle where PR is in hypotenuse and by using a Pythagoras theorem we can write that hypotenuse square is equal to base square and height square so by using this we can write PR square that is nothing but 25 square PR square is 25 square then QR we don't know write it as is the QR square now PQ measurement is 7 cm so substitute in it now what is the value of 25 square 25 square is 625 now Q as we don't know QR value we write it as is QR square plus 49 and transporting this pass to 49 to other hand it becomes 625 minus 49 is equal to QR square now from this 625 minus 49 you get it as 576 is equal to QR square from this we can write QR is equal to square root of 576 as you know it is a perfect square so square root of 6, 576 is 24 then QR value will get as 24. Now we have to find out the value of tan P. Now tan P we define as an opposite side to angle P by adjacent side to angle P. So what is opposite side to an angle P? That is QR. Now adjacent side to an angle P. Adjacent side to an angle P means for angle P there are two adjacent sides. One is PR and another one is PQ. As we consider PR as in hypotenuse, then we have to take a, other than hypotenuse, another, another side that we side that side we have to consider as an adjacent side. So here adjacent side is PQ. Then substitute the value of stuff in it. Then QR is 24, then PQ is 7. So that we get a tan P value, got it as 24 by 7. In the same manner, we have to find out tan R with respect to tan R tan r is defined as opposite side to the angle r what is the opposite side to the angle r that is pq by adjacent side to the angle r that is qr other than hypotenuse qr so now substitute the values of the measurements of these sides pq we know as a 7 centimeters qr we know as a 24 centimeters and what else we have to find out we have to find out the value of the tan p minus tan r 
I'm okay. For the value of tan p, value of tan p is 24 by 7. We just write here 24 by 7. And then for the value of tan r, tan r that is 7 by 24. And then we have to find out the difference between them. Now, if you observe this, these two are unlike fractions. We have to subtract them. We need to take LCM. And if you observe the denominators, these two are tokens. So, product of their numbers becomes LCM of that numbers. So, LCM of 7 and 24 is 7 into 24. Now, by doing cross multiplication, 24 square, 24 into 24, 24 square minus 7 square, you can get no. 24 square is 576 minus 49 by 7 into 24. 7 into 24 that is 168. Now I'm subtracting this, you get the value of 527 by 168. This is the value of tan p minus tan r. Thank you friends for watching this video.